Hi, my name is Ryan Matsumoto, and in this video, I'll show you how to get free Google Cloud education credits as a student developer. Google Cloud offers free education credits to help student developers prepare for your future careers. You can use these education credits to do things like deploy web apps, create new databases, and use our machine learning APIs. Ready? Let's get started. First, visit g.co slash learncloud slash student dash benefits. Here, you'll find a description of all the benefits that are available to you as a student developer. When you're ready to proceed, click on Access Benefits. Benefits are only available for students and faculty at accredited higher education institutions in certain countries. You can learn more by clicking View Eligibility Guidelines. You can sign up with a school-issued Google account or a personal Gmail account. Before choosing a school account, make sure that your institution has enabled access to Google Cloud Platform. You can click the Learn More button to learn more. Once you've decided which Google account to use, click Join Now and log in with that Google account. Here, you will fill out a quick form to let us know who you are and verify your student enrollment. Enter your legal first and last name exactly as they appear on your school enrollment records. Your email address will be pre-populated based on the Google account that you are logged in with. You can switch to a different Google account if you want to. Select an academic institution from the provided list. Start typing and a list of schools will drop down. Be sure to select your school from this list. If you believe your school is eligible but is not on the list, please email cloudedusupport at google.com. Click the submit button to submit the form. After you fill out this form, you may be redirected to the student benefits page. If so, congratulations. You have been successfully verified as someone who is eligible for education credits. However, some students may not be instantly verified and will need to provide more information. If you see this page, you will need to upload a school issue document that can be used to verify your student status. This document should include your full name, your school, and a date proving current enrollment. Acceptable examples include a school ID card with an expiration date, a class schedule, or a tuition receipt. You also have the option of uploading multiple documents. Most document verifications take under an hour to complete, but some may take as long as 48 hours. Once you are verified, you will receive a confirmation email with a link to the student benefits page. On the benefits page, you will see options for Google Cloud credits, Quick Labs credits, Coursera courses, and more. Click the Redeem Credits button under Google Cloud to proceed. This will take you to the Google Cloud Platform Console, a web portal that you can consider home base for Google Cloud. It's where you can create new resources, adjust settings, and do much more. Here, it will display a GCP credit application page. If you want, you can click here to switch to a different Google account and add the Google Cloud credits there. Since the form will be auto-filled for you, you just need to click Accept and Continue. Once the billing account is created, you will be brought to the billing account overview page. On the right side, you will see a nice visual of how many credits you have remaining. If you click on credit details, you can see how many days you have to use them until they expire. Next, click on account management on the left navigation bar. Here, you will be able to manage permissions for your billing account. Click the add members button to add team members to the billing account. Enter the email address of a team member you want to add. Here, I am adding my team member, Tara. Click the Select a Role dropdown to select a role for your team member. Here, I will make Tara a billing account administrator, so she can have full access to this billing account. Don't forget to click Save at the end. Now, Tara will have full access to this billing account. In the right navigation bar, you'll see a list of all team members who have access. There's also a section on the Account Management page that lists out projects linked to this billing account. Projects in Google Cloud are basically a way of organizing your cloud resources. Try thinking of it this way. You'll probably want an individual Google Cloud Platform project for each project that you're working on in real life. What if you want to create a new Google Cloud Platform project and link it to your billing account? To create a project, go to the home page of the Google Cloud Platform console. Click on the navigation menu button in the top left and select Home. 
In the top navigation bar, click on the drop-down menu that lists your current Google Cloud Platform project name. The pop-up window that you see is where you can switch between different projects you're a part of or create a new project. Click the New Project button in the pop-up window. First, provide a project name. Then, click Create to create your new project, which will be automatically linked to the billing account with your education credits. Your project may take about a minute to be created. Once your project is set up, you'll see a notification saying so. Click on the notification to bring you to your new project's dashboard. And that's it. Let's review. First, we visited g.co slash learncloud slash student dash benefits and filled out a form to verify our education credentials. This brought us to the student benefits page, where we were able to see all the benefits available. Then, we selected and redeemed Google Cloud credits bringing us to the Google Cloud Platform console. After setting up a billing account for our education credits, we added a team member to the billing account as a billing account administrator. Finally, we created a new Google Cloud Platform project that is linked to the billing account with our education credits. My name is Ryan Matsumoto, and I can't wait to see what you build with Google Cloud.